basically had an idea following the 9-11 uh, incident that, you know, if we could set up or develop a communications technology that we could bring to an incident, that it would help in situations like that where communications are down or, or compromised by natural disaster or, or other. Um, so we embarked, we, we had seed capital and our own money and we embarked on that development plan. And it was, it really, um, we were only about uh, six months into it where I had set up a, a, um, um, a meeting with, with an, our chief in the, in the Marine Corps mm -hmm. uh, because, we, you know, the, we, we anticipated that the military might be interested in this type of technology. And, and um, you know, he sat down there, looked me in the face, he said, you know, Peter, last thing I need is another damn truck, okay? <laughs> what I need is a technology that if I send guys into a burning building or, or a hot zone, which is typically what they're called, I can communicate with them. I can, I can you know, uh, set up a trail of, of, of technology that will allow me to talk to these guys because typically they can't, we can't speak to them. We don't know what they're seeing. We can't talk to them. We lose comms, especially if they go underground. Mm -hmm. So... Um, my colleague and I were, you know, at this meeting, we said, well, you sort of like you're sending them into the forest and you want them to drop breadcrumbs. And he goes, yes, that's what I need is breadcrumbs. So then we're trying to change, change the focus, and since then we've, developing, we've been developing this breadcrumb technology. Mm -hmm. And first it started as a big truck, okay? We had a big truck and we had, um, you know, a vehicle with all this comms gear in it that we would be able to pull into a, uh, you know, a, up to a, a, a situational area and set up comms. And then, then we condensed it and got smaller. It's kind of like a bread truck. Mm -hmm. Then got to a smaller, to a bread loaf. And that now, this is our latest device. It's, it's what we call the JR. It's a very small, um, but very capable. Uh, it's, it's a scalable and secure uh, mobile mesh networking technology. Typically, our customers have a wired network somewhere, whether it's in a, whether it's a military, they have a, um, a TOC or, or, or some sort of command base, or whether it's an, a, a large mine. We, I'll talk later about these mining, these large open pit mines that have wired networks, but they're in a local area, and they want to extend that wired network out into the field, mm -hmm. and that's where they use our technologies to extend that wireless, that wired network wirelessly into the field so they'll have access back to their network. In, you know, in 2006, we identified an, an, an opportunity with the mining industry, mm -hmm. and, and since then it's been quite a large vertical for us because these large open pit mines typically have um, anywhere between 20 and, and, and 200 vehicles out in these mines that, that are very expansive. Some of them are, are um, 5, 10 miles or, or, or longer in, in, you know, in, in coverage. Yep. So they need to, they need bi-directional communication with these assets and typically they need to send instructions to these vehicles and the drivers and they need data back from the vehicles. So we identified that as an opportunity and since then we've put in putting breadcrumbs on these, these vehicles and in, in several infrastructure locations in these large open pit mines and it has allowed for them to now communicate with these mobile assets because mobility is, is not is not your friend in, in wireless. Um, we're a very flat layer two network that could expand and contract mm -hmm. uh, at will. Uh, we don't have any root nodes or any other, um, any other layer three type um, um, implementations which would make it more difficult for that type of uh, mobility. So that's, that's really our key is, is to be able to operate seamlessly in a mobile environment.